Sorry, Cinder, I got you. <laughs> I got you, Cinder. All right, but we are our ad read is cut uh, tragically short as we move on into our final losers top six of Tropical versus Heretta. He's and alive. He is alive. Heretta uh, has been found, washed up on the shoreline, and but not looking washed up right now as he moves into losers top. I don't six. know. I, I mean, I, it certainly looks like he might have been washed up on know. a tropical shore because uh, tropical just sent him on a whole ass vacation. <laughs> Absolutely, kicking his way right through the gyro. Uh, tropical is looking for the quick run pack uh, as the. Um, the winner of this moves on to fight Ling in loser's semis, but and the, the 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 blunderbuss bust turnaround after the reverse crowd mix up just to control find find just a timing mix up on how to throw out the zoning pressure super smart as well. And now the up smash, but yeah, somehow hurry. just the worst possible spacing. Not gonna matter because even with the weak hitbox. It's st that sour spot still gonna send you into the perfect range for crown up there. Yep, still uh, sends you into kind of a tech situation. And Heretta right now just fighting for his life. One stock to three as Tropical is looking to make quick work of this game one. Falling out of the uh, up smash scoop hitbox. Not gonna be falling out twice, but that's a big boy and no rage on the Rob. Yeah, well, you know, Cable might be a big boy, but Rob is a big buddy. He's a robotic operating buddy, That's and true. he's here to be friends. Cable doesn't want to give you hugs. He wants to nibble on you, and uh, you know what doesn't taste great? Metal. Heretta trying to show you that early on. Oh, but the arm rotor combo is actually going to be See, taking See, I told it. you, he's, it doesn't taste very good. It's absolutely not. Looking, looking to give Tropical that big iron hug with the arm rotors and just ferrying him right to the blast zone. Suddenly we are back in an even game, but Tropical making some use of the gyro right now. Yep. One of the biggest and most simple pieces of counterplay to any character with an item is how to use it against them. How do you control that space? I like the spacing to throw Gyro off stage as well, so it either hits Heretta and, he, and Tropical gets it back, or it misses, goes off stage, and extends the time that Heretta can't use it. And I do also like, you know, just K. Rule having Gyro in this matchup just because K. Rule's specials do so much, but also that dash attack doing yeah. so much, catching Heretta so high above the ledge. And it also covered, you know, it, it picked up Gyro there. Mm -hmm. It, as you said, caught above ledge. It two frames. It's active, but also if he comes up with a hitbox, it has belly armor. Yeah. Wow, what do you it do? It does everything. Move? Well, hold on. Is Cable literate? Like, isn't he a king? He probably has someone else to do that for him. Probably. So it probably doesn't. Well, maybe actually. So, so the belly, the, because it's him and it's not the crown, it probably doesn't do his taxes or like win him neutral or anything like that. But I think with reads like that, he can read. True. <sighs> All right. I've been taught a lesson. <laughs> Heretta bringing things right back into PS2, starting things off with an arm rotor combo and a zero yeah. to death. It's the Rob classic anathema special or on that double toss. And for Tropical, the answer is just to start swinging right back oh down there. Reset on the plow. So we're trying oh, to get the propeller. All right. He, was, he is you. feeling himself. He wants that Ling rematch. Absolutely. I mean, who wouldn't, who wouldn't want to knocked the uh, second seed out of the tournament twice. Oh, I mean, he even said it was the best win he'd ever had, and so you can see he wants it. But Heretta not a slouch either, right? Here all the way from Chicago, Ooh. and not going to go down without a fight. Now it's time for him to be a police dox to own one in turn. Earn trying to find a way back down. He does, and it feels like Tropical has come out this game much more aggressive. And just like we've seen from him in the past, when he turns on that aggression, it often is backfiring. Absolutely. Oh, oh no, actually gets the footstool, but saves Tropical from the z drops uh, gyro. And the DI into the sweet spot there to get Spike to survive, the sour spot would have killed Rob. But instead, living at 155 off the top was so smart from Heretta. Most people would not DI into the sweet spot of sp the Spike there at any percent. And speaking of DI, that was fantastic SDI out of the motor from Tropical. Absolutely, and now, I mean, I feel like we're really starting to see Heretta play with confidence, which he got sniped. He did. All right, but Heretta right back into things. The gyro blocking the cannonball, keeping him in this. We're seeing another 
Rob down throw, mini game coming in, up throw, not gonna be taking things just yet. Now the faint looking for a down air or a neutral air instead of just going for the fastball air dodge, trying to find a way through. But the response to hey, I might aerial was actually just Heretta fastballing, which still put Tropical in just as poor a situation. Absolutely. Unfortunately, when your opponent's panic option to you being like, I'm gonna be big brain <laughs> is the exact is also the exact option that covers your big brain it does it feels bad and yeah. tropical trying to recover from that feels bad man here this was just he just across he just lost the world yeah from downtown for real like and now now though you, it's interesting to take rob to hollow bastion like like it's really, this is a stage that is super volatile in this matter. It's really whoever takes that first thought can maintain that stage control. Just no gets way. to never give it up. Because you don't get it, you just lose the center platform. And someone like Coretta, who's as comfortable with top as he is, like, there you go. Absolutely. I, Tropical fell for that neutral get up gyro so far into the setup, and Coretta was still able to capitalize on it. Right. That but time, Heretta not able to space it properly to avoid, avoid the sour spot and loses his stock off for the boot. boot. Once again, that gyro being thrown in a creative direction by Tropical is going to take it out of the equation, allow him an additional extension, and now he's not even going to reset, just trying to keep the pressure on going. Wanted to likely grab the gyro there with that neutral air, but doesn't find its mark, and is making full use of the belly armor to just try and keep the pressure. All right, but Heretta now getting to set up some more ledge trap in the armor. The crown armor coming through for Tropical once again, but just getting reset right into the exact same situation, and that's a big body that's getting caught by that F-Smash every day of the week. He got caught by it, by the gyro at ledge uh -oh. twice, and so his response was to try and roll in, but, right, Heretta conditioning for that. New third time's the charm on when to pull the trigger. Tried to find an F at mid-stage? That was yeah, a mess up play. I don't know who these F-Smashes are hitting, but I know who that down air is hitting, and it is Heretta now being brought to his last stock here in this Game 3 as Tropical brings us to even. Does not get hit by the same setup that we saw in the first stock there. You saw Heretta was looking for that exact same down air. And remember, Force, this is Game 3. This is for counter pick advantage. It, it, the break is on the line here. Here, and Tropical does not want to give a character like Rob, who, like it or not, has the tier list advantage in this match, and you don't want to give them the additional benefit of getting to pick that potential game five stage. So the question is going to be, how can they find a way to bring this back? 128 for Cable is rage, but not if you eat that back air. That, that was a cursed kill screen if I've ever seen one. Yeah, I want, completely normal kill I want, screen. I want, to, I want to see this again. Completely, uh, completely normal kill screen. Hmm. What do you mean? What do you mean? This is this is a completely normal kill screen that there is nothing wrong with. Clear, and it's for the record. What happens here is that his arm got extended mm -hmm. here and extends into the into the which, yeah. is, which is why that hits. Is that his arms extending, and then once he gets put in hit stun, his her animation shifted back, yeah. so it doesn't look like it hits anymore. But that move should have hit everybody. Yeah. For all intents and purposes, it, it should have hit, but it just it looks goofy. It does look goofy because sometimes because the way Smash changes shifts its animations on hit um, is very sudden and can sometimes lead to unintended uh, looking interactions. Mm -hmm. Ooh, all right, empty landing from Tropical as we move on into our game four as Heretta is wanting to, you know, block the rematch potential between Tropical and Ling and already with a very healthy percent lead against Tropical. Oh, it waits out the air dodge though and Tropical looking looking back in this game. Yeah, he's, again, he's playing a lot more around, right? That blunderbuss Ooh. and the crown missing the tech. Heretta is going to lose the stock. But it's just, the, it's this more measured pace of gameplay where he's really forcing Heretta to come to him rather than vice versa. Or he's chasing Heretta slowly, right? F having something to come in behind him so it's not just a scrap against the character with lo much lower commitment tools. Yeah, absolutely. And it comes down to that same game plan that we were talking about before, is that slow, gradual taking of space that Tropical has been doing. But, I mean, once we get 
in these clo this close quarter combat, Coretta has just been taking it so much. Yeah, the up smash not going to do it just yet. Hollow Bastion does have final destination size blast zone, so quite a little bit of extra room to live. That being said, you just drop kick them, and sometimes that's all you need. The Tropical in a perfect situation to force us to a game five if he can just find some extra credit here. Yep, finally the scrap situation working out for Tropical. Kind of the first time that we've seen it this set with that uh, down smash. Wow, the sweet spot. The and double again? miss. I cannot remember the last time I've seen a Rob miss three down arrows in a, in a row this far into our bracket. Absolutely. And this is where we're talking about. We're getting that extra credit that Tropical is looking for. Armor coming through once again. And the Nair mix-up reset. Like we saw the up smash last time, so just the neutral layer. Unfortunately, didn't send the way that Tropical wanted. And now 96 to his name. Rob very far from out of this one yet. Looking for the... He's fishing for that double toss combo we've seen a couple times. Uh -oh. Usually this could be it. Looking for the drag down reset. Oh, getting the reset. Get, he missed the turnaround, though. Oh. He was just a little bit slow. He was trying to get the drag down into, you can get turnaround neutral air into the gyro toss combo the other way. He was trying to catch him on the DI mix and... But, Somehow uh, he just... Even though Cable's a big body, you just can't get that quite saucy with it against a player as good as Tropical, and we're going to a game five. Yep, Tropical with another uh, scrap victory, just... He, he popped out and... Heretta was a little slow on the reaction. That slowness actually allowed him to have a second opportunity, but he second-guessed himself just long enough that Tropical was able to input the tech. But as we move on into Game 5, this is Heretta's counterpick. As we move on into Kalos to see who will move on to fight Ling in loser semis. And Already. That match is going to be a little delayed by having numbers MGW next, but... Her, don't worry, guys, because Heretta is trying to make sure we get there as fast as possible <laughs> with a quick first stock. Already showing off the uh, the power of the Kalos counterpick, um, making sure, you know, having those uh, straight uh, walls, making sure that Tropical is has far fewer options to weave out of the way of that downer that we saw, you know, Heretta missed quite a few in, um, in game four. As well as you just have much more space to get away once again third time's a charm he missed another three in a row fourth one he gets it okay okay we've never seen a rob miss four of those in bracket in a row he heard his last time right he hit the fourth spike on the fourth and then he missed three hit the spike <laughs> on the fourth so we're expecting another spike in four four down airs time heretta i don't i don't know if heretta's gonna you know have to do that many down airs as already tropical on his tournament stock potentially and meanwhile heretta is still with three stocks to go it's in part of the, like Kalos is just again very large, very open. It's hard to slow down the pace of the game in the way you did on Hollow Bastion with that center platform. Because yeah, you can throw the crown, you can throw the cannonball in the same way out of that blunderbuss. But Rob is just able to jump over, do this right. You don't have that mm -hmm. center plat in the way, and then all it takes is a gyro hit. All it takes is a toss, a double toss into a rotor arm for you to get put in the blender and never come out for us armor. Nope, that is going to be uh, Tropical dropping out in loser's quarters and Heretta moving on to fight Link in his stead. Oh.